Hello again. Do you know what channel I'm putting this on? Hello, it's the Auto War. Anyway, Auto War people. Method of discipline and training in the finest pilot. The measurements, the estimation of quantity, the calculation, the balance of chance, the visitation. When you trying to bring up a militia or running the military or just running business and want to cross another business out, you got to know the facts and method of discipline, how to deal with people who's not doing what you want to do or upholding your code of conduct and stuff like that. Don't forget, people. If you're doing this, you must uphold the own code of conduct you put on other people, which is why it is hard to do because since all y'all break your own words and stuff, if you can say you're going to do something, then you should do it. If you tell someone to do it, if you're going to do it, then you should do it. Then you shouldn't be doing what the opposite of what you said. Don't do as I don't do as I do. Do as I say. But if you divide these two as do as I say, not do as I do, you get do as I say. But don't do as I say. Just do as I do. Anyway, it goes. So in other words, if you can make your own code of conduct, then you should also follow it. Don't be putting your bull crap on other people. This is basically what it means in terms of wordplay and visitation. You should have enough audacity to visit a person, family. Um, Resident person family people are dying for you. You should at least have the audacity to you know stuff like that. Then again, it's go either or because in the terms of America, you're fighting for freedom, but you have the other role where you're fighting for political power. And if you compare it to the rest of the world, it's the same thing over and over. If that crap go both ways, don't forget it's the foundation of what keeps the support of society up. No foundation, then you're going to tumble. Unfortunately for you guys, you got a messed up foundation, and I refuse to stay. The next section of energy is you already know if you find with a small group versus a large group, guerrilla warfare tactics is the best bet. Or get a bag to where you can get a larger force or equal force. But that depends on scenario and situation. It depends on how well you train, what you're doing, and how well, how corporate your group is, or how sync your group is. If they have like 5 billion people to one or something, those 5 billion people does not equate to freaking 200 of the people. Stuff like that. And in terms of that, sometimes direct tactics are only favorable when you join in a larger battle, say for example, of a corporation. If you had two corporate going head to head with each other, like Sony and Microsoft, if we, if Nintendo decides to join Sony, just request Microsoft, then that would be a direct tactic on we, direct tactic on Microsoft by we joining Sony, because Microsoft been around for a long time. That's why. <laughs> or vice versa. Now a. Indirect tactics tend to always favor the victor, which is one of the bullcrops I hate the most. Actually, I don't hate the most. It depends on who's doing it and why they're doing it more. It's called behind it, but indirect tactics usually win the most, meaning that Sony and Microsoft both put each other in Delft, but Nintendo we just, hey man, that's not my business. And next thing you know, both these companies are in Delft, and they'll be like, yeah, we crushed both of y'all. I'm like, oh, you did? Oh, dang, they got a propaganda spare on. We let us crush both companies, Nintendo. Yeah, that's indirect tactics. Because A, they both put each other in depths. And B, we stay out of it and just crush both. Congratulations. Attacking people's supplies and materials and resources, convincing the people to. Uh, Go for your cause and stuff. Congrats. This is going to be also another section of the debate as well. Due to the fact that what it is. Debating is. Now, there's a difference between debating, arguing, and going through that other book type of stuff. Debating is to you. 
come to a conclusion of understanding with each other where you compromise with each other, not where you crush your other opponent. That's more of a war thing, or I just hate the crap out of you. There's nothing that I want to do with you. Usually when you debate, originally, debate is where you come to a compromise where it help both parties. That's what debating is. So when you debate, you're trying to come to a compromise. Now when you have been opposing debate where you're not trying to compromise, you're just trying to uh, crush the uh, uh, other party then, that's more on the line of decimation, hard to say, due to the fact that we're not trying to compromise. Actually, there's no point in this to begin with. I don't know why. The only point in this, though, is to get the people on your side of explaining this. So, that's not debating the person you're debating against. It's debating against the person in front of the people. So, you can turn them on your side. That's basically what that is. Now, there's three sides of debates. Uh, this is part one of the debate, but it's going to be part of all the wars. So it's the same thing. Um, does the claim, the warrant, and the impact? All three are the structure of the argument. The claim is establishing your argument. Uh, what's this? I want free money and stuff like that. <laughs> I know, right? And then. That's the warning, the just the case for free money. And there's the impact. How would this benefit me and why free money for everyone be good? But see, you see why I said everyone and not me in particular? Because the impact is how would this benefit everyone other than yourself? Well, warning is a justification behind it. Oh, man. Stuff like that. Basically, when you're doing a debate, though, you're still compromising, though. You still come into a compromise, a give and take scenario. That's a debate. When you are trying to say me, 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 you're no longer debating. I would say more of that's more of persuading why I'm more right than you. Anyway, that's pretty much it.